And, you know, so show them some respect and be nice. And uh, here's Thomas Gomez, everyone. Yeah. Woo! What's going on, everybody? What's going on, Thomas? <laughs> oh, not much. Good to be here in Cincinnati tonight. <coughs> uh, <coughs> off to a rocky start. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm actually engaged uh, to be married, not in battle or anything. Uh, fuck. Yeah, it's just like when I have sex, it's pretty sure. <laughs> oh, it's really embarrassing, and you're probably just going to have a room where you have to work. Um, so I recently started the job that I'm working at now, and I went to the break room the other day, and I'll pass this girl, and she goes, I really thought you were taller. So I turn around, and I say, wow, I really thought you were shorter. See how that works? She goes, hold on, more far, bud. You don't have to be rude about it. I said, oh, you're right, I'm sorry, I guess that makes me the grumpy dwarf, huh? <laughs> Um, now it is really good to be out here in Cincinnati. I'm not from originally from around here. I'm actually from southern Georgia, where you may hear someone say, Oh my gosh, honey! It is so good to see you! As long as you're white. <laughs> now, please understand, being the only Gomez in my entire family, shit got a little complicated sometimes. You can imagine that my white privilege was revoked as soon as the ink dried on my birth certificate. <laughs> But every time I do get down to go down to Georgia, I try to visit my uncle anytime I get the chance and give you an idea what type of guy this guy is. He paid more for the truck that he drives than the trailer he lives in. <laughs> and every time he talks about his truck, he, try, he sounds like he's trying to sell it to you, but at the same time, the story you're still the same. He'll say some stupid shit like, you see that big son bitch right there? It's got a 12-inch lift on it. That's bigger than your dick. <laughs> I've got to set enough in the back in case you can see what a pair look like. Do you want black tie? Yeah. And the other day we were actually... We were at Gaston. That shit's coming. South Georgia. You see this shit all the time. I hear it from the park. We were at a gas station. Story of my life. And he was putting gas in his truck, right? And this dog comes up all snarling and rabies and scabies and shit. So I had a reflex. He whips the gas nozzle out. Sprays the dog down. That dog takes off running. About 50 feet later, he falls over. This little boy pops out and says, Daddy, what happened? He said, I don't know, son. I guess he ran out of gas. <laughs> but uh, last thing I guess I'd like to talk about tonight, uh, since I forgot like two minutes of my set, uh, is antidepressants. All right? They're a bit of a contradiction, if you ask me. Uh, they give you the medicine for depression. <coughs> But then the side effects are almost worse. You know, nausea, vomiting, headaches. Sometimes you may even get suicidal thoughts. But, rest assured, the good news is if you decide to kill yourself, you won't be depressed anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. Shit. Yeah, deep. Yeah, I've never heard that before. <laughs> but, uh, again, my name is Thomas Gomez. I'm from South Georgia. Good to see everybody out here tonight. Thanks for having me.